Folks, and st thanks for stopping by. So I recently did up a post on my website called Self Love is Not Selfish, But It's Vital. And I thought, hey, that would make a pretty good video as well. So here I am. My name is Greg and I have 17 tips for you on how to develop self love, be it today or in 2020. So I suppose I'll give you a quick why and how this came about, I suppose. You know, I have young kids. I miss the kind of the social media kind of phases. And just in today's world, I suppose people are starting to grow up and they have grown up to kind of come to the understanding that, um, you know, attending to yourself or, you know, looking after yourself is kind of is kind of wrong. And I don't mean running around shouting about that I'm the best and I love me and so forth. It's it's more that, you know, self-love it's critical to living and to living a healthy life and um, today it seems that people are judging their self-worth on you know what their profile looks like on facebook or instagram and um, you know and and that's how they feel down on themselves on what how they look or what people are saying about them which you know have knock-on effects and consequent can damage your you know your your self-love and your feelings and thoughts for yourself you know and at the end of the day when you're happy when you're feeling good everything else around you is good and everybody else kind of reaps the benefits of you being good. So in the 17 tips that I have for you, which are quite simple and they'd be quite fun to actually follow through an action, especially it coming to a new year, new, new, new you, why not? So learn how to practice self-love and just how to start living the full life that you deserve. All right, look, so I'm going to jump straight in. Number to the first one, point. practice positivity. So with this one, what you're going to do is write out three positive traits or things about yourself. This can be, you know, the friendships that you've built or have or a physical trait, I suppose, about your body or what you like about yourself. So the idea of this is that you get used to positive thoughts and seeing positive things as opposed to criticism. So it'll just make you get used to and being showered. Number with positivity. two, give yourself a good experience. You've probably heard the expression somewhere along the way. Don't wait for the ship to come in go row out to it well with this what you're going to do is you're going to break the limitations and start giving yourself a good life do something different break the insecurities buy yourself something new go to the cinema take yourself out for dinner just do something and practice something new and tip number three is travel and explore new horizons one of the best ways to get new experiences with yourself and to develop self-love is to travel somewhere new alone. You know, go somewhere you've never been before, somewhere with different cultures or with a different language. So you really push yourself to the boundaries. You will be amazed what you find out about yourself when you have to do these kind of things. New cultures, new languages, outside your boundaries. So give it a go. And just to say as well that the full article, if you wanted to read through it all or pass it on, share it with your friends, there's a link below this video to the full post that I wrote up. So it has it in more detail if you wanted to read over it. Or stick it if you and like. Point four we have is to write or to keep a journal. So, you know, a journal or writing a journal has proven to be a great way, an efficient way of releasing stress and overcoming your negativity. You know, when you're writing, you know, the journal, you will release your feelings and all your stress and views. And it's a great thing that if you, st at the start of the year, you compare your challenges and how you overcame these challenges by looking at how you started off and how you finished off the year from writing your journal. The, whatever goals you set, it might be a month, a year, but you know, it's going to be a long process. So consider uh, this tip may seem a little odd. Uh, tip number five, it's mirror practice. And it basically is what it says. It's standing in front of the mirror and talking to yourself so you know you you know each morning or each afternoon however you decide just saying something positive to, to yourself you look well you feel great i want to be your friend whatever it is but you know it might seem a little cringy at the start like talking into a camera like this talking to yourself but eventually you'll build up your self-esteem and it'll make you confident in yourself that you know if you can stand up in front of anybody and um, so practice mirror practice it's a really, really beneficial and good technique. Point number six is to use a vision board. Um, so one of the key traits of someone who lacks self-love is they also lack self-confidence. So they just have put themselves down from the get-go. People feel that they can't achieve certain things in life. So if you want to do out a list, you know, basically writing out what you want to achieve in life, 
in work or whatever you're trying to get to. It's a great way for you to put your thoughts on paper so that you can achieve your goals and find your self-love along Tip the way. Tip number seven, practice daily meditation or at least give it a try. You know, it's common knowledge that when you practice daily meditation that you consciously, consciously should I say, you start feeding your mind and soul. I know a lot of people don't even think about it, wouldn't even you know, enter their mind to think about meditation, but it's a great way of getting in touch with the outside world. You know, even, what about this? Cracking. Yeah, music. Music makes you feel good. Cracking contains vibrations. It makes this release and cracking. So if you don't, if it's not meditation, try the tones or angel sounds. You know, some sort of tranquil music that lets you escape. challenges. Another approach that you can use for developing your self-love is to leave your comfort zone. I know we mentioned traveling earlier but this one's a little bit closer to home. Take on new challenges. Be, you know, Expose yourself to different aspects of your life. If you're into running, do a half marathon. You know, Learn public speaking. Take up the guitar. Try to break your personal record at something. Be, get some new life skills. It'll push yourself to the limits and you will, you know, find out about yourself and develop your own self-love along the way. Tip number nine, listen to your inner being or your gut feelings, I suppose. You know, your, your self-love, it receives a huge boost once you develop the ability to listen and trust your own intuition. And, you know, and once you begin to trust yourself, You'd be amazed how that has a knock-on effect and people around you they just start to trust you and believe in you as well we're going to go straight into number 10 so number 10 is all about looking after yourself in self appearance so you know like beauty is in the by the beholder as they might say but you got to look after yourself your self appearance so if you're feeling good you know on the outside, if you're looking well, looking sharp, you start feeling good and it increases your ego. So look after yourself, look after your appearance. It's what people see first. People do judge by appearances, I'm afraid. So look after your appearance, treat yourself, get your hair cut, your makeup, your nails, buy yourself a new suit, new shoes, whatever, to make yourself feel good. It really does help your self-love if that you can look after yourself from the first being everybody else will they to grow and love you as well tip number 11 list out all your accomplishments so you know it, it's give credit where credit credit is due so you know again it comes down to writing things out or even speaking them out in the mirror to yourself whatever you're doing but just say the good things the accomplishments the accomplishments that you have achieved you know you'll feel good about yourself and you'll feel like giving yourself a good pat on the back and these, it just helps build your confidence and your self-love. And on to tip number 12. Uh, 12 is learning or learn to forgive. So when you forgive someone for you know a grudge or something that you've been harboring for a long time, it just makes you feel really good about yourself. Um, you know, it helps you improve your, your mental and your whole well-being. And not just forgiving other people, but how about forgiving yourself for some blunders or mistakes that you've made in the past or along the way? So, you know, learn or just start to forgive people and to forgive yourself. It'll just make you stronger and it'll make you learn more about yourself and be able to move on with things. An Tip awful 13, lot we're nearly there, I promise. So learn to say no without feeling sorry. I know it might sound simple, but how many times, you know, have you found yourself in a mess or you know something happened because you didn't say no you know you'll end up trying to please everybody but pleasing nobody and hurting yourself in the process so like we mentioned earlier just trust your gut you know that your personal interest is important as well you just don't want to hurt yourself or make yourself you know uncomfortable or uneasy just for pleasing others and tip 14 so to leave your comfort zone I know in the previous point we said it's okay to say no every now and again, but have you ever thought about why you're actually saying no over and over again? Is it due to fear or intimidation? 
So, you know, one of the best ways to build uh, self-love is to face your demons head on. So just think about it. The next time you're going to say no, why? Tip 15. So try listing the good traits about your friends. It might seem a bit odd. It might not be for everyone. But, you know, try sitting down with your friends and, you know, if not listing them out, but just talking about the good traits that you have and then your friends saying or that you you have you feel about your friends and then your friends can obviously reciprocate so it's a great way to build your self-esteem it might seem strange but it can also build your friendship so give it a thought something that you you know you could okay, think about the second last points are tip tip 16 and probably one of my favorite ones so it's try to be a child again you know, so try and revisit your childhood, dig out some old pictures, some old toys, anything like that brings you back to a memory or a time. And even looking at the pictures, just look at the innocence, not a care in the world mentality. You know, your self-esteem, you know, you're the best at everything. So in today's world, you know, try and look at your inner child and try and bring it out. Try and relive a childhood experience, you know, and just not a care in the world all your troubles will just fizzle away. Okay, and tip 17. So just be patient. Be patient with yourself and be patient with those around you. You know, let go of urgency and fear. You know, once you start to trust in yourself, you just do good work and you will see some great results. Look, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know some of these tips, they might seem a little outlandish or a bit strange at the start, but give them a try. You know, some might be for you. The 17 might turn into three that work for you. But the whole thing is to build self-confidence, build self-love and start getting you out there again so you are the best person that you can be. You know, and once you are happy, people around you are happy. So as I said earlier on, there's a link below this to the full kind of post where you can read up on it and see some other articles as well. So I really appreciate you watching and um, hopefully I get to do some more videos like this for you. All right, guys. Thanks again. See you. Bye bye. Cracking.